In this video, I'm gonna teach you diet and supplements that can help you with energy and MS. Don't turn away, because that starts right now. Hey! Howdy, thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. This channel is dedicated to helping people impacted by MS up their game. And I have a lot of videos tackling the MS symptom fatigue. Fatigue is the most common symptom in MS and it's invisible. People can't see it. When you say, I'm so tired, and then someone else says, yeah, me too, they don't understand MS fatigue. Now, on this channel, I have a lot of videos on sleep hygiene to help fatigue. I have videos on medicines that help fatigue. I have a lot of videos on behavioral techniques to improve fatigue. So I'll throw a card up here and you can check out a playlist on all those topics. In this video, I really wanted to focus on diet and in specific supplements, things that you can take to help increase your energy levels. So with that framework in mind, let's jump in. My first four recommendations have to do with diet, stuff you eat and drink and stuff I don't want you to eat and drink. And then the second part, I'm going to get into some specific supplements. My first diet recommendation is to increase protein intake. Again, this video is on things that you eat which can increase your energy levels. And if you are deficient in adequate protein, it's gonna make you tired. You want to take about one gram of protein for every kilogram of body weight. So for about every two and a half pounds of body weight, you're gonna eat one gram of protein. I want you to do a calculation. And if you're not getting about one gram of protein per kilogram of body weight, then we need to supplement that. It's my contention that when you do that, it's gonna improve energy levels. Number two is increasing your water intake. And if you don't think that being dehydrated makes you tired, I challenge you to find out. Increase your water. Drink five large glasses of water a day. One glass with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's three. And then one in between breakfast and lunch, and one in between lunch and dinner. There's your five glasses. That should be about 100 ounces of water. You will be shocked at how your energy improves when you're adequately hydrated. Recommendation number three is to avoid sugar. Sugar uh, tastes good and it gives us a little quick boost of energy and then we crash. And there's a lot of other really bad things about sugar. I'm asking you to avoid sugar. Don't choose foods that have added sugar in it. Cutting sugar out of your diet does miraculous things to your energy levels. They skyrocket. Number four is to avoid heavily processed foods. Heavily processed foods are laden with chemicals and high fructose corn syrup and a bunch of other stuff that I don't want you to eat, and it will zap your energy. If you're trying to change your diet to improve your energy, cut out all heavily processed foods and you'll be delighted at the results. Real quick, if you dig this video, please give it a like. Thanks. Regarding supplements for energy, I think all people would benefit from taking a multivitamin. If you have a pristine diet, you can get all of the vitamins and minerals and nutrients you want from your foods, but I don't see very many people doing that. And so if you're deficient one day, but you're taking a multivitamin, you sort of have your bases covered. There's things in a multivitamin that I want to see, like high levels of vitamin C. I like to find iron in my multivitamin. But by and large, if you buy a, a reputable brand of a multivitamin, that's a good first start. My next recommendation is to take a B-complex supplement. There are a lot of B vitamins out there, and in specific, low B12 is oftentimes associated with fatigue and some other neurological problems. But in reality, the B vitamins, riboflavin, thiamine, there's a bunch of them, they all can contribute to energy levels in slightly different ways. If you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you. My next recommendation for energy and MS is to take levocarnitine or L-carnitor. Levocarnitine is an amino acid, one of the building blocks of protein. And it turns out that taking one gram twice a day has been shown to increase energy levels in MS. There's actually a paper which demonstrated that levocarnitine at that dose beat out an old MS fatigue medicine. Similarly, Supplements that impact the Krebs cycle, the mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cells can be helpful in upping your energy game. As such, taking creatine and taking CoQ10 can also help with energy levels in some people impacted by MS. 
So if levocarnitine by itself isn't cutting it, we will sometimes add creatine and or CoQ10. My last recommendation is an anecdotal observation that some of my patients that take CBD oil notice significant improvements in energy. Now, not all patients, but I've had several patients that have found that taking oral CBD really made a really big difference. I would be curious if other people have noticed that as it's something I've just noticed in some of my patients in clinic. So if you find that taking CBD helps with your energy, please leave a comment down in the section below. The best way that you could help this channel is by watching another video. So if you'd like to up your game and hear more tricks and tips, click the video that's on your screen right now. Otherwise, until my next Monday morning video or my next monthly live stream or the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.